Come on, good boy. Yes, good boy, good boy, yes. Good boy, the silly thing. So welcome to Out Your Shell. Me and Ty's gone for a little swim <laughs> in West Beret. Lovely, amazing. This is our Saturday. This is how we're gonna spend the day. And it's amazing, amazing part of West Beret. Temple. <laughs> Trying to train Sai off his lead. Saturday morning, beautiful. And I, you gonna enjoy the water, pup? Hey, give me here. Uh, give me here. Say, come. Give me here. Give me here. What's this? What's this baby? <laughs> After going to the CMRE Photo Club, Say had his first taste of real water swimming. Um, so now I think he loves water. So we've gone to the, the left side of West Beret when you drive up here. And God, look at this. It's a lot better, it's quieter, it's local. Beautiful, beautiful. So I just wanted to talk about survival. Survival that about 95% of the population are doing. Survival seems to be a mindset that we are all stuck in. From England, Oxford, when I lived there, Isa working a horrible job. Myself fortunate to do what I enjoy and love. But you still had to pay a lot of money for rent, for bills, to be able to live. At the end of the month, did I have any money left over? No, no. And that's just because of living a higher quality and standard of life. Coming out here to the amazing Cambodia CM Reap, I'm still surviving. I'm still surviving. The job that I have and earning a bit of money online doesn't mean that I get to take a day off every week. Every day I'm still doing eight to 10 hours of work. On top of that, trying this YouTube thing. So please like and subscribe. Let me know if this is actually helping, if there's anything you're taking away from it or any questions, comment below. Hey, what's this? What's this, ready? Come on, Sai. Good. Good boy. Good boy, look at you. Go on. <laughs> you found a stick, Sai? What's this? What's this? Ready? So today's gonna be a topless talk around survival, my mentality of survival. Good boy, good play. Go on, good play. So me and Isa were talking about the levels of survival that they are in England. It's a very high standard of living, quality of life, but I was still surviving. In Poland, people have it harder, a lot harder. You're forced to live with families because you'll never be able to move out. But you come to Cambodia and you get the children working in the restaurant. You're getting the children having to actually help get money for families in order to survive. Personally, I think that surviving is important. The need to survive, the need to be doing something in order to continue or maintain what you're doing. So over the last three months of being here in Cambodia and absolutely loving it, I mean, look at this place. 
It's easy, it's simple, it's rustic. Even these stairs, absolutely gorgeous. Look, beautiful, Be just beautiful. These is over there with these amazing trees, just getting in the shade, because God, it's hot. Sigh is just finding some new sticks to play with. By the way, comment below if I need to lose a bit more body fat. I know them rolls are showing. <laughs> So again, survival is incredibly, incredibly important. It keeps you grounded. You look at these rich millionaires or sons or daughters of famous wealthy people and why they end up on drugs and this sort of thing. There's no need to survive. It's like every day is a little new thing you can do and waste your money on projects. So whilst being here and now luckily meeting people from Tuk Tuk drivers who were really struggling over COVID and now coming back to CM Reap in order to get that typical income whether you're restaurant owners one of our uh, now friends and restaurant owner nick at nick's restaurant had an engagement party and she had to do it all herself with decoration making the flowers because you don't have the money to pay for a company to do it but you still want to have a great day myself now being here for three months at the end of the month the money that i had left is around 80 dollars which is actually a lot better that's about a third of an average Khmer income. But again, it's still a weird feeling of survival. And this whole video, I just wanted to ask you, really, where are you living now? And are you, that's what was weird. You can have money, you can have access to everything you need, but I don't think that actually brings happiness. Happiness is who you meet, what effort you put into the world, what good you try and do for the world, and where you're living. What do you want to be around? Do you want to be around a nice city like Dubai? Do you want to be in the sticks and rural amongst nature like here in Cambodia? It's crazy. All over the internet, everyone's crying about identity, their problems, all these things, instead of extreme ownership. And most of this is because you're probably not in an actual survival mode. I don't think many people would actually cry about a lot of things if you had to work together to survive. So yeah. Go out, survive. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy some footage of our time here in West Beret. We're loving it, it's Saturday morning, and this is the perfect way to start the weekend. Otherwise, I'll come to the Khmer family, to everyone else, come out your shell, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the water. Let me give you a little sexy James Bond montage. This is surviving in Cambodia. We still have to work and earn, but your free time, a million times better. Come on, PT training. One more, one more. This way. We're so tired. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. I know. I know. Good boy, buddy. <laughs> Yes, Sai. Yes. You did it. Okay. Oh.